Hello. All right. So in this case, guys, it's the exact same thing that we want to do with the last problem. I want to extract my triangles out there that are going to be similar. All right. So what in this case um, that we have is these are parallel. So in this case, um, what we have is da, 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 da. for this one, which is E, H, G, we know that that length is 6 and this length is x plus 5, correct? And that's all we really know about that length. Um, in this case, we have this is 12 and this is x plus 5 plus 9. Would everybody agree with me? So since they say that these are similar triangles, we know that they are proportional to each other. We just need to find the missing value for x. So what I can say now is, uh, let me label this. That'd be E, D, and F. So what I could say is E, G is to E, D is equivalent to H, G, which is to F, D. Right? This side is to that side, as this side is to that side. Their ratios are equal, or what we call proportionate. All right? So um, now what I'll go ahead and do is just figure out what E, G so that's going to be x plus 5 over, this becomes x plus 14, which is equal to 6 over 12. Now I go ahead and cross multiply. And I get 6 times x plus 14 equals to 12 times x plus 5. Apply distributive property. This becomes 6x. 6 times 14 is going to be 84. OK. So now I get the x's on the same side. So I'll subtract the 6x on both sides. I'll subtract the 60 on both sides. So we have 24 equals 6x, divide by 6, divide by 6, x equals 4. Any questions, Taylor? OK. Um, do you remember similar triangles are proportional to each other? No? OK. This is question number 7. So if you look at this triangle, these two triangles, the small triangle and the large triangle, are what we call proportional to each other. They have the exact same shape, but not exactly the same size. OK? OK. 